What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, I got a brand new video for you today. We're going to be talking about Asmund Gold and all the incels, the soy boy betas <laughs> out here complaining about Ghost of Yotai. If you guys have, aren't aware, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, big blockbuster success over on the PlayStation and now PC, uh, is hitting the streets because we got Ghost of Yotai coming up in 2025. Uh, PlayStation Studios, I believe, is making this. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna be real with you, but they're they're all complaining. This is all like SJW LGBTQ stuff. It's, I don't even understand it half the time. But today we got some controversy surrounding it. A lot of this controversy really extends from two main issues. One, the game's new female protagonist and the involvement of Erica Ishi or however you say her name. She's like a well-known LGBTQ plus activist and voice actor. Some fans were were very upset. By the choice to feature a female samurai protagonist claiming it was part of a broader woke agenda uh, which often involves adding diversity to inclusivity's sakes uh, critics accuse the game of pushing a uh, diversity equity and inclusion narrative which has led to backlash from a segment of the gaming community that dislikes such initiatives in traditionally male-led franchises now i can agree with this statement a little bit but the majority of the time, I kind of really don't care. I mean, we kind of saw that with Horizon. Oh, why is, it, why is Alloy female? Uh, we never really hear it from Tomb Raider or Bayonetta or any of these other games. Final Fantasy has. Uh, there were female Ronin, just not like the uh, the ninjas that we're, we're akin to, if you will, right? Female warriors, like Ronin. There were female warriors and, and lords and stuff like that. The old way, the old guard of the samurai kind of already felt. And we kind of already saw that in Ghost of Tsushima anyways. The old guard of what it meant to be a samurai has fallen. And there's a new wave, a new era, if you will. The only thing I will say, there is absolutely no historical evidence of Unochis or ninjas. Like, they did not exist the same way that male ninjas did. Like, when you see Naruto and they got the females in there, that actually, like, I mean, first off, Naruto didn't even happen, but, like, the ninjas and stuff like that, uh, but definitely weren't, there were no historic females. We do not have any evidence of that. It's only really mainstream because of pop culture and how they're portrayed in movies and our Western video games and stuff like that. That's really the only time you see that. And even in Japanese media, like Naruto and certain animes, there's female ninjas, but it, historic wise, there is none. Historically speaking, there are also never any video games. So, I mean, this is kind of a brand new media for our generation, the previous generation before that's brand new in the past. 50 60 years essentially maybe even maybe even more than that who knows who knows right all i'm trying to say is if you want to play as feudal japanese man in a, in a classic world just go play ghost of tsushima right you don't have to play ghost of yotai right oh there's female ninja who cares bro assassin's creed they're they're saying the same thing with assassin's creed shadows it's all about oh my god this isn't realistic at all when was assassin's creed ever realistic bro guys are jumping off 200 foot buildings and landing in a barrel of hay and surviving and walking away right when was that ever realistic we got a homeboy hunting down george washington assassin's creed 3 how is that ever realistic bro we got gatlin guns uh shooting arrows out of our wrists and climbing buildings and swinging like spider-man and syndicate and based in the 1920s or 10s or whatever that was when the industrial revolution in europe happened how was that realistic you know what i'm saying everything in assassin's creed is not realistic maybe the time period and the stories being told around the actual game could be real the stories and interactions with the main characters like me us interacting with george washington never happened bro come on let's be real half them kenway's not real like guys it's okay enzio auditory not a real italian okay all right, Napoleon, but that's, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Additionally, though, Erica E. Shape, that is how you say her name. If I'm getting it wrong, let me know in the comments below, who voices the lead character and is known for her outspoken support for LGBTQ plus rights has also been targeted. Some detractors argue that her personal activism is influencing the game, although many others have dismissed this criticism as baseless, emphasizing that an actor's personal beliefs should not affect perceptions of the game. Despite the negativity, most fans remain excited for Ghost of Yotai, and the controversy has become a divisive but relatively niche issue. Uh, this niche issue now is becoming a big thing on Twitter. But here are a couple of things you should know about this voice. Could they have gone with another voice actor? Probably. Maybe. But um, a couple of little crazy posts. Uh, she goes on March 27th. Goes, also can't help but notice the article focused mostly on the mechanics of our game and not which Pokemon is most doable. Which we spent far more time on in, in that episode. But fine. I guess I'll be the one to just keep focused on the important questions. Which is really weird that you would want to focus on that one. Other ones too like abolish the police. It is on. Uh, unconsciousable i don't even know how to say that to allow the racist institution that terrorizes the citizens they are sworn to protect abolish the police that's an absolutely brain dead take we already saw what happens when you abolish the police imagine a world without police in there bro you know how much stuff i can get away with are you kidding me i'm robbing you first you got money i'm coming for you that's it 
what are you gonna do call the police you ain't calling nobody you know what i'm saying unless unless they want to abolish the police and she, what she means by this is to institute a military power which is far worse if you're asking me once we got joe biden and, Pre and president trump and all are you kidding me are you kidding me the other one is look now is the time to reach across the aisle to trump supporters and tell them racism homophobism that's not a difference of political ideology that's oppression and we reject it okay so there's like a wall here there's absolutely no conversation between her and the other side i get that absolutely uh very childish childish and then the last one drunk guy got up in my space at the okay here's a thing i want 500 for things that never happened with this one drunk guy got up in my space at the arcade to ask are you single while i was playing a rhythm game i shouted dude if you bother me while i'm playing a game i will kick your fucking ass as my girlfriend and i uh then me fatally walked up to flank me haven't seen him since i'm pretty sure that never happened. but we got a lot of like soy boys coming out with asthma gold like sucker punch explains why they chose not to continue jin sake's story and go to shima i really wish they did jin i love jin i fell in love with jin bro i wish they finished that story but i guess not to each its own i guess let me guess that needs to touch grass community are mad it's a woman absolutely bro these guys are so fucking mad it's a woman maybe it's because i, I don't have a per a problem with it being a woman I just have a problem with the person voicing. I think she's just irrational, childish. But that's like a personal thing. Let the art speak for itself. You know what I mean? Like, and then um, people are just perma band says, I am pretty certain that negative reaction is largely from the actress and her behavior rather than a woman MC, uh, MC meaning main character. By your logic, Laura Croft, Band at a 2B, Eve, Juliet, Claire Redfield, and many more are hated for being women MCs. Oh wait, they're beloved. Gaslighting again, huh? I truly do believe the majority of the hate for Ghost of Yotai was Erica, the voice actor, until I saw this Asmongold clip. Okay. Do I have to play as a girl? Can I play as a guy? Absolutely distasteful. Oh, I can't play as a guy? Okay, who cares? Who cares if you can play as a guy or a girl? When I was flying through Horizon in a post-apocalyptic world taken over by machine dinosaurs and everything like that, I wasn't really worried about if I was a guy or a girl or not. I'm running around in Warframe playing as some alien Tenno, right? I'm not a guy or a girl. I don't know what I am. I'm space debris put together. I'm like a xenomorph. I don't I don't even know if they can even reproduce. I'm like made from a machine or something. Bro. It's, like, it's not that important at the end of the day. In World of Tanks, do you think you're a guy? No, you're an actual tank in World of Tanks, right? You're a machine. I don't, I don't get I don't get people's reaction. If you don't want to play as a girl, don't play as a girl, right? If you don't want to play as a guy, don't play as a guy. I personally play as a girl in GTA uh, for reasons I don't even know. I just chose a girl. I have no idea. I did it when I was like 11 or something. Maybe I was gooning, right? <laughs> I have no idea, but I've been a girl in GTA ever since. On uh, Spider-Man, you play as Spider-Man. Who cares? If you don't like the game, don't play. If you don't want to play as a certain character, just don't play. It's not... Why Why is everything so hard? Same thing with this YouTuber merch stuff, like Lunchly and Prime. If you have such a big issue with it, just don't buy it. It's not that hard. It's not a hard concept. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are these guys being racist, sexist pieces of... Or are they just like some dudes that need to go outside and touch some grass? Either way, there's a whole medium and spectrum of people that just really don't care. Maybe they're sick of an LGBTQ narrative and they're, you know, it's been force fed into our, our mouths because of the media and everything that we consume. And maybe this is one of those cases where it's actually a lot simpler than what you think and it actually isn't being force fed into your mouth at all. Who knows? People uh, draw lines crazily wherever they deem fit. And so, I don't know. I have no problem with playing a female character. You shouldn't either. Do you want an extra subscriber new? I'm out of here.